All right, hello, hello, guys. Today we are talking all about trekking poles. Now, I promised at the start of this podcast that I wouldn't be talking about gear. However, trekking poles in my eyes are not just any old piece of gear, but they are absolutely essential carrying for any hiker, trekker, or backpacker out there. Now, I'm such a passionate believer in trekking poles for hikers, but I still get the questions all the time, should I be using them? What are they good for? So today, I really want to explore seven particular reasons why I'm such a massive fan of trekking poles and why I really think that every single person should be using them on the trail. So my big love for trekking poles comes out of two main things. Number one, they can reduce the chance of injury quite significantly. And number two, they can improve your performance on the trail. And if you've been listening to this podcast before, you know that pretty much everything I talk about is around one of those two things. And if trekking poles can do both of those, um, both of those things with very, very little effort, it is absolutely amazing. And to be fair, there are no magic pills when it comes to preventing injury or improving performance, but trekking poles are pretty much as close as you can get. And they show some really, really immediate improvements to common issues while hiking. Even if you're using them absolutely wrong, you're still going to get some benefits from them. But if you take 10 minutes to watch a video on YouTube and learn how to use them properly, you'll get some absolutely amazing benefits. So here are seven reasons why I absolutely love them. Number one, trekking poles help reduce knee pain, which you've heard me say many, many times on this podcast before. Hiker's knee is probably the number one issue I hear from hikers. Almost everyone experiences some type of knee pain on the trail, and this particularly comes into um, downhill hiking or long descents. So there's been a number of studies that have shown trekking poles can greatly reduce forces through the knee, um, knee joint while walking downhill. I think there have been some studies that have shown up to 30% reduction of the forces in your knee when going downhill, another one showing about 25 to 20%. But either way, that is an absolutely huge, and that in itself is so, so significant. So from anyone who suffers even the tiniest little niggle in their knee when they're on the trail, trekking poles are a must. So number two, trekking poles can help reduce back and neck pain while on the trail. So a long day's hiking can lead to some pretty, pretty rubbish posture. And a common consequence of really, really poor posture, so meaning hunched over while on the trail, um, it's not inherently bad, but if you're not used to it and you do it for a long time, a common consequence of this can be lower back and neck pain. If you're purely, that's not your natural posture, but you're just doing it because you're fatigued, you're just doing it because you're staring at the ground all day so you don't fall over, you're just doing it because you have a heavy load on your back, a common consequence of that is pain. So trekking poles, very, very simply, can keep you upright, can keep your upper body engaged a little bit more, and just can keep your integrity and your posture structure a little bit better. And it does a world of good. Now, for those who already suffer from lower back pain and they're nervous about um, hitting the trail, there has been some evidence, and one study was shown that poles can greatly reduce significance on the back while hiking. So again, this isn't just someone going out and saying, hey, you know, you should use poles because they're good for you and they'll keep you upright. There is actually studies behind this to show that lower back pain can, um, it can make a little bit difference in lower back discomfort while on the trail. So benefit number three, trekking poles can reduce other lower limb injuries. So other common issues on the trail, such as shin splints and plantar fasciitis, um, they're really, really common on the trail, and poles can play their part in reducing this. Now, there aren't any direct studies to back this up, what I'm about to say that I've seen so far, but there are numerous anecdotal experiences of how trekking poles have helped reduce symptoms of things like shin splints and pan fasciitis for regular hikers. So this does make sense because there has been a reasonable amount of evidence to show that trekking poles can help distribute some of the forces generated by walking into the upper body. So basically what that means is it takes all the force away from your feet, your shins, your knees, and then distributes some up to your upper body. So that means the less load's gonna be going through those areas, which is susceptible to injury, meaning it's gonna give a little bit of um, less pain, uh, meaning over the long term, potentially can help reduce these things. So if you are suffering from something from shin splints or plantar fasciitis, you need to be using your poles. Benefit number four is it help improve your balance. Now we all know there's a huge amount of balance needed when you're on particular hikes. Whether you've got river crossings, we're on the mud, whether you've got rock scrambling, steep traverses, or just dodgy bits of the trail, you really, really do need to be stable and be happy. 
So tracking poles can help improve balance and stability on the trail, and there's no real doubt about that. By improving your stability, not only will it reduce your effort and your stress when it comes to these certain situations, but you're going to greatly reduce and minimize the risks associated with slips, stumbles and falls, and things like rolled ankles, twisted knees, sprained wrists, and all these terrible things which can be an absolute game ender on the trail. So if you do struggle with your balance, or if you are coming up on a trek which does have some bit, um, bit of treacherous terrain, trekking poles are an absolute must. Benefit number five is trekking poles can help improve movement economy. So I often talk about movement economy when it comes to strength training. And basically movement economy is the energy spent every single step you're taking. Now, um, trekking poles have been shown to help improve movement economy um, when going uphill. So basically there's been a couple of studies that haven't been huge, but they have shown that when you're going up a steep hill, under significant load, trekking poles improve your walking efficiency by about 10%. On top of that, the really, really great thing is it greatly improves your perceived effort. So not only does it improve your actual um, energy spent, but improves how hard it feels and making it feel much, much, much easier. So when if you do struggle going up hills, even without the improved movement economy, if you feel like you're getting um, it's easier, then it's gonna be so much better for you. So if you do struggle on hills, Trekking poles are an absolute must. Now, benefit number six, it, trekking poles can help reduce muscle soreness. So we all know muscle soreness sucks on multi-day treks. You do a big day, you wake up in the morning, your calves, your quads, your bum are absolutely ruined. And you're like, oh, I've got to go on another long old day on the trail. And it is tough, particularly if you're sleeping in and, you know, in a tent, you're not going to get a huge amount of relax relaxation, and there's absolutely nothing worse than rolling out of bed stiff, sore, and just dreading a day's hiking when you should be looking forward to it. So trekking poles have been shown with a few studies as an efficient way to reduce muscle damage, reduce muscle soreness, and even reduce the potential for injury. So such a simple thing just to make yourself a little bit more comfortable on the trail. And benefit number seven, the last one we're going to talk about today, is trekking poles can help stop swollen fingers. So with people with bad circulation, swollen fingers and hands are a pretty unnecessary, um, unpleasant product of hiking. Now my girlfriend Ali gets this a lot. If she goes out for a walk or a hike for more than 90 minutes, her fingers just swell up, um, swell up like sausages. She's got to take all the rings off and it's just really, really sucks. But the simple solution to this is using trekking poles purely because it keeps the hands moving, it improves circulation and reduces that swelling. So it's an immediate fix for anyone that does struggle with this and I cannot recommend it enough. Now, there are a whole bunch of other benefits around this. You can sort of fight off animals, you can get spider webs, you can do a whole bunch of other things. They can um, double up as, you know, you popping up a tarp if you go in lightweight hiking or whatever. But those are the seven big ones, which I'm a really, 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 really big believer in. In all honesty, I think every single hiker and trekker should be using them. Every single hiker and trekker should be taking them out on the trail, no matter where you're going. And you're going to get so many benefits, and it's something I truly believe in. So if you ever wondered where the trekking poles are right for you, if you ever wondered where the trekking poles are right for your friend, if you've ever wondered whether you need to use trekking poles just on long trails or on shorter ones as well, I recommend use it all the time. They're going to do so good, so much good for you. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode today, guys. I hope you got a little bit of value out of it and you enjoyed getting a little bit of science behind the benefits of trekking poles. Now, if you have got a friend who's sort of been resisting um, using poles for a while or maybe you've got a family member you're trying to get onto them, I would love if you could um, share this podcast with them just so they can get a little bit of insight and maybe change their mind. It really would mean a lot to me to share this around. So thank you so much for listening today, guys, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.